Howdy y'all, welcome back to Cowboy Slots. My name is Mark and today we're gonna tackle a topic that a lot of people don't really talk about. It's kind of the elephant in the room, but there are downsides to gambling and it's important that you know what to look for. But first, let's watch this clip. Come on baby, come on baby, let's do it. Triple, 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 boom, yes, baby. We got it, we got it, we got it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Triple, 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 all right. All right, let's see, 200, 300, 325. Uh, I'm never gambling again. All right, look familiar? Let's talk about it. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is the word gambling itself. And what does gambling mean? It basically means that you are risking something for the potential of getting a greater return back. But the key word there is potential. And if anybody has gambled long enough, you know that in the long run, it is always a losing proposition in the long run. Gambling should always be considered entertainment. You should never gamble with money that you can't afford to lose. You should always go into a casino with that mindset. And if you do, you will have a lot more fun and you won't end up on the dark side of gambling. It's a very real thing. Some people handle it better than others, but it's something that you should recognize and realize can occur. And in this video, we're gonna cover some of the things to look for so that you know that it might be time to quit. So this is a very important video. It's not very flashy and exciting, but we think it's very important and we try to talk about responsible gambling a lot on this channel. And here are some tips that will help you not fall into that trap. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing, and we talk a lot about this on this channel, is budget control. So the first thing that you should do before going into a casino is making sure that you have identified what your budget amount is. You should take money that you can afford to lose because the chances are you will lose it. That is not guaranteed. Sometimes you have some very lucky sessions in a casino and we will talk about what to do when that occurs. But the first thing is identifying your budget and sticking with it. The best way to do this, let's say that your budget is $500. Take the $500 into the casino and leave all accesses to cash away from you. Leave your debit cards at home, Leave your credit cards at home. Don't bring checks because the cashier's cage at a casino will basically cash anything. And so it's very important that you control yourself because you can get caught up in the moment, especially when you're in the casino. Everybody's having a fun time. Maybe you're trying to chase some of your losses. You know, that's a very real thing. Don't have accesses to cash outside of what your budget is. So bring what you are can safely afford to lose and gamble only with that money. Leave everything else at home and away from you. All right, so the next thing is to identify when it's time to take a break. I think breaks inside of a casino is one of the most important things that you can do as a player. If you have your daily budget, let's stick with the $500, and you go in there in the first 15 minutes, you have lost half of it, $250 is gone. Get up and go do something else. Look for things that the casino offers, whether it's a restaurant, or outdoor activities, or just go sit and chill in the hotel room for a couple hours. It's very important that you break the cycle because what happens, especially when you're in a mode where you're losing a lot, is your brain just tells you to keep playing because you want to chase back those losses. It's very, very important that you identify when that is occurring and you get up and you go take a break and do something else. The casino's not going anywhere. <laughs> It'll be there. Don't worry. Don't worry, nobody's gonna come up behind you and get a jackpot on that machine. It's not the way it works. So take those breaks, realize that you're, you've lost half of your budget, maybe make a decision to go ahead and leave at that point, but it's okay to take a break and just chill out for a little while and get your brain to reset. It's very easy to get very fixated on everything that is going on at casino. They are designed that way. They are designed to keep your butt in that chair as long as possible. So it's up to you to break that cycle and to take a break and then come back later. All right, so let's say that you have lost your $500, your budget for the casino trip. Maybe it took 15 minutes, maybe it took a couple hours, but guys, 
The important thing is, is that you don't go to the ATM and you don't go to the cashier's cage because the casino environment is built in a way to keep your butt in that chair and they will convince you to keep pulling cash to try to chase those losses, to try to recover the $500 budget that you had. It is up to you to decide when to quit. And I'm telling you that if you go in with your budget and you lose your budget, you have to leave the casino. Do not stay there. Don't go get something to eat and you know think that you might come back later and maybe get a little extra cash to play. Leave the casino. That is so important. You have to reset your brain. You have to realize and take your losses that that was just not a good trip to the casino. It happens to all of us. Not all trips are winners. In fact, most are not winners. But it's important that you know that you have lost your budget. Your expendable cash is gone. Leave the casino. Come back another day when you have more expendable cash. But don't chase those losses. I cannot stress that enough. That is when you fall into the trap and it gets very dangerous very quickly for a lot of people. We want to protect you against that. So when you go in, Stick to your budget. When you lose your budget, just take your losses and say, oh, well, that's what happens sometimes, and then come back another day. Okay, and the next thing is actually a, a positive thing. What if you are winning? Let's say you took in your $500 budget and you have been able to climb it up to $750 or even $1,000. What do you do? So our recommendation, and Brantley has talked a lot about this on this channel, is to take your original budget and put it away. Either go hide it in your car somewhere, give it to a friend, put it in the safe, whatever the case is, even the cash box. Take your original budget, the $500, and stash it away, and then just play off of the amount that you are winning by. Guys, you can have such a much more exciting time in a casino if you know that your original budget is there, and it's safe, and you're not going to spend it any longer. If you end up doing well and you've built it up to $1,000, now you have $500 of play money that you can have just a lot of more fun with without worrying about tapping into your original budget. I assure you that your attitude and everything inside of the casino is going to improve if you are playing on winnings and not playing on your budget or losses. It's a much different experience and it's a much more exciting experience. So talk yourself into it before you go in. If you have the $500, tell yourself, if I get this up to $700 or $750, I'm going to take those, that $500 and I'm going to go stuff it away somewhere where I don't spend it. That is a super critical thing for you guys to do. So we hope you win, but the important thing is, is leaving with your winnings, right? We don't want you to put it all back in. That sucks. Um, and it basically ensures you to have another future day where you can come back to a casino because you still have your original expendable cash, your original budget. That's cool. It's a really good experience and it's a lot more fun. Guys, so if you are winning, know what to do with that original bankroll. Go hide it. Make sure you don't get access to it. Okay, and finally, we're going to get real serious here, guys. Um, you know, we it's always the elephant in the room. Nobody likes to talk about this. But gambling addiction is a real problem, and we take it very seriously here on this channel. We provide resources in all of our video descriptions on what you can do if you feel like you have a problem or you know somebody that has a problem. Gambling addiction is just as bad, if not worse, than uh, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, things like that. It's a very real problem, and it's important that you realize that you might be getting into that. If you find yourself constantly chasing losses, like you just can't seem to let go or you are spending your money that you were supposed to be spending on rent or paying your mortgage or your house payment or any or a car payment, anything like that. If you end up in that situation, you most likely have a gambling problem and you need to seek help because it's only going to get worse. Uh, gambling addicts uh, have a very hard time of knowing when to stop. They just keep going and going until every single source of cash is exhausted and then it's bad news. It's really bad news. So we don't want you guys to get into that. Uh, believe me, the casinos don't want to stop that, <laughs> you know, because they don't know your personal history. They don't know what your bank account has. They don't know what your retirement account has. They don't know what your house payment is or car payment. They don't know any of that. They assume that all the money that you're getting out of the cashier's cage or the ATM is expendable cash. They don't know that. It's up to you to realize that you have a problem that you are just continuously trying to get access is the cash. If that is you, stop. There is a lot of great anonymous resources out there. There's a phone number you can call. We'll put it in the description down below. Of course, it's on all of our videos. Like I said before, it's very important that you give them a call 
and get this thing going for you guys because we don't want you to we want you guys to have a great time in the casino and we take that very seriously on this channel we talk a lot about you know the best games to play and the best budget to go in with and what denomination to play and which machines to play and not play we talk about all that stuff but we also talk about budget and money management and knowing when you have a problem and when to quit so that's what this video is primarily about is to try to help you guys navigate the losses that will occur inside of a casino because it will happen you will have trips where you have losses sometimes significant but it's important that you guys reset keep your brain focused on how much cash you have and that you are not digging yourself into a deep hole because it's very difficult to get out of all right so there you guys go there's some tips on how to identify and look for potential issues whenever you're inside gambling i know this is not an exciting video but it's a very important video Cowboy Slots is very, very focused on making sure you have a good time in the casino. And that means that we have to tackle the elephant in the room, like I said, which is the gambling losses and the significant financial losses that you can uh, that can occur when you're inside of a casino environment. we got to make sure that you guys understand it's a very real thing. A lot of people go through those problems. You may think that you don't have the problem, but you know what? Other people might think you do, and it's important that you listen to them, that it's time to stop or it's time to slow down or whatever the case is, because it's all about gambling. It's all about gambling responsibly. It's about you know sticking with your budget and not getting out of control, because it's very easy to do that. We've all had uh, instances where we have had losses in the casino, and we've overextended ourselves by going to credit cards and things like that. I think a lot of us have done stuff like that. And it's important that you guys realize that that is not a safe gambling environment. Uh, you got to be very careful. So, guys, I hope this really helped. Again, I know it's not a super exciting video, but it's something that we want to tackle and make sure that you guys understand uh, because we want everybody to be having a good time. And thanks again for your attention, and we will see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit RopeTheJackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.